All right, so I've got a SQLite table open here, and I've got a software, it's a third-party software, to view the SQLite table, and that's called DB Browser for SQLite. And so I'm going to talk about some of the things we can do and how to do it inside of a DB Browser, like adding a column, uh, editing what the column is showing, and then getting rid of the column. So first thing I'm going to show is how to add a column here. So from the, uh, I'm on the Browse Data tab right now. Um, you can see there's four tabs right here, though. And so we want to come back to the database structure. And I believe this is the one that it defaults to when you first open it. And you can see we've got one table here, and this is the table. And so I'm going to click this drop down here, and I can see all of the columns uh, that we have in the database. So I'm going to come up here to where the table name is. And this is the table name A, P, L, C, expiring. Now right click, modify table. Then you can see I can add and remove right here at these buttons. And so we're going to add a column here. It adds this down here. I'll name the column. And then I'll choose the type. I'm going to use real because I want it to be numbers, and we're going to have a formula in there. So after this, I hit OK, and we've added a column. If we come back to the browser data, you can see we've now got that column, and everything is null. So the next step is to add data to this thing. And so if I want to add a formula, I'll come over here to the fourth tab, Execute SQL. And you can see I've already got it laid out here. So our formula going to be this right here. So we're going to be using uh, three lines, update, set, and where. Update, and then the table name. This is our table name right here. Then we're going to set what column are we setting. Excel formula is the name of, was the name of the column. I think I called it, yeah, I called it Excel margin here. So I'll change this. Excel margin, and you can see that this pops up. And all we got to do once we find it there is click enter for autofill. We're setting the column Excel margin equal to this formula right here. And then we're saying where in the cells where uh, it's null. And so it's going to be everything here. So I'll go ahead and click the play button. And if we come back over here, we'll see that we now have the result of that calculation in this column here. If you do something and then you say, oh, I made an error, I want to change the formula around, what we'll do is we'll come back over here to the execute SQL. We'll remove this and we'll revert it by saying uh, we're going to set it back to null where uh, any cell is not null. So we'll come right here between is and null and type not. And so this is going to set everything in our column to null again. We'll run this, come back and see that that's null again. And then I'll go back by hitting Control plus Z on the keyboard. I'll erase the not. And then I'll add back in our uh, formula. And then we can change it around as we want. I'm not going to make any changes. I'll go ahead and do it again, and you can see we've got the data in here, and so the final step to this is deleting this column, and to delete it, we'll come back to the database structure. Again, we'll right-click, modify table, we'll go ahead and click save, and we'll find the column that we want to delete. We'll hit remove, yes, okay. Now we come back here and see that that column's gone.